So now that my hair is all dried, I spent about 30 minutes under the dryer, off and on. I'm gonna tell you, the dryer is hot. It is so hot. So I, I went in there for about 10 minutes. I got out for like five minutes. I went back in and stayed another 15 minutes and then I, you know, cooled down and then I went back in. Thank God I am, you know, home that I can, I'm able to do this because it was so hot. And, um, but thankfully my hair is dried. And um, the other thing I did want to tell you was that when your hair is dry, um, normally my hair takes about 20 to 30 minutes to dry, but because I, the specific rollers that I use, I already use one size, which is the gray ones, um, I stayed the full 30 minutes. Now, once you are finished drying, you have to let your hair cool down. So I normally leave it about five, 10 minutes with my rollers in my head before I start taking them out. So that's a quick tip for you if you know, you're know you at home and you have the time. And even in salons, salons do it all the time. They let your hair cool down and kind of settle so your hair stays in that pattern and you will get that bounce that rollers actually give you. So right now I'm going to take out my roller so you guys can see what the hair looks like right after your hair is dried. So that's it. I used about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 rollers for a full head. Um, so this is what the curls look like. Um, I think this one is a little wet. Maybe that's why it's so limp. But this is what they look Excuse my nails. I was trying to paint my nails red. <laughs> but I didn't like it and I forgot to take it off. So sorry. But anyhow, this is what the hair looks like. has a lot of bounce to the hair now you guys know me I will not wear my hair like this but I know a lot of women that do and as a hairstylist you have to be very versatile and with the clients that I you know do their rollers they usually want tighter curls and they're not as um, loose as these curls are so for them you know I, I do smaller subsections and then I would use smaller rollers like um, like these or even smaller depending on the hair length but for me um, and again it's your preference whatever curl um, sizes that you're looking for that's the, the roller that you would use so it's really up to you but and the steps are really the same you would wash your hair if you want to condition your hair you can as you guys saw that I did condition my hair today um, and then you roller set your hair you get under the dryer and you let your hair dry one thing is that if your rollers if you're using smaller rollers you're gonna have to stay in the dryer longer so that's why I like to use big rollers because I want to be in and out of that dryer. It is way too hot. But that's just me because I hate the dryer. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a sacrifice if you want the curl pattern that you want. So um, what's coming next is you're going to see me blow dry my hair uh, straight in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to divide our hair into sections to make the blow drying process a little easier. I usually do three sections, which is, look at my hair, <laughs> which is the first top section, like so. See the bounce in this hair after the roller set? It's so pretty. Then we take from my ears all the way up to the crown. That's like my second section. So this last section, 
before I pin a subsection to this one, I'm gonna show you what I use uh, before I blow dry. So my favorite, favorite brand, as you guys know, um, before I even blow dry, before I flat iron, is Moroccan oil. So this is the Moroccan oil Glimmer Shine, and it is really a finishing spray. You can get this at the MoroccanOil.com website. And I just spray, even though it's a Glimmer Shine and not really a treatment, I still spray before I blow dry because it helps seal in that shine and that oil that is in the in you know this shine spray so just very liberally um, spray it and then with a white tooth combed I just comb it through the hair so now that you have seen how to pin up the hair I'm going to show you what brush uh, actually brushes I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a boar's head brush and this helps really like really pull and give your hair some tension while you're blow drying so your hair can be nice and straight. If you have thinner or finer texture I would recommend using the uh, ceramic brush because it's just easier on the hair that's thinner or uh, finer and I'm also going to be using this but on my ends just to give it um, a nice round uh, finish on the ends of my hair but for the roots I'm going to be using this one and if you guys have curlier or coarser texture these are the brushes that you should be using. So now we're going to be starting the blow dry and I will show you um, how I hold my hair while I blow dry. So. So the first thing is you want to be able to hold, you see how you have some tension in here. You want to hold your brush really, really tight on the hair. Hold it there. Once you start blow drying with, you know, very continuous motion, you would, you're going to be blow drying the hair like so. Okay, like this. So I'm going to start blow drying and I'm not going to be able to be talking obviously because you're not going to be able to be hearing me on top of the blow dry. But I will show you exactly what I'm talking about when I tell you to hold your hair with tension and also continuous motion. So here we go. Again you're going to be using Twin Turbo 3200. This is my favorite blower of course because it has so much power. And I use it on the highest setting just because my hair is very curly basically if it's for thinner finer sections again go with the lower heat setting and just continuous motion and it's very straight if you see smoke do not be alarmed that is just the product that I sprayed on my hair it's you know when it comes in contact with heat or heat source it's gonna start to blow smoke but your hair is not on fire another thing is do not put the drop the blower straight on the brush like this and do not put your hair straight on the on the nozzle because it will burn your hair. So that's very important. So now I'm going to continue the blow dry with the other subsections, and so you guys can see exactly how I blow dry, basically.
the hair dried already so now I'm gonna be doing the front now for the front because I want a little bit more volume I'm, gonna, I'm going to be redirecting the hair forward so that way the from the crown or the top of the crown to the forehead or the front of your uh, head will be nice and voluminous um, again just blow dry forward and I'm going to demonstrate now my ends with the ceramic Moroccan oil brush and I left this in on the top just to let it cool down and actually it mimics what a hot roller would be so I leave it in just to let it cool down and now I'm gonna let it go and it has a nice voluminous pattern curl So, so we have come to the end of the blow dry and now being that I did a little bit of volume on the top I just like it to kind of come to the front like this now I do my hair like this when I do roller sets of blow dry because it gives me a lot of volume but when I flat iron my hair trust me my hair is not like this um, it's really flat and it's really um, just to the sides. So that's how I my preference how I like it So for this for blow drying, I, I like to give it a little more volume and a little bit more bounce to the hair and That's why the ends are nice and rounded and the bang area is like a soup bang type of um, hairstyle so Because my hair is really dry just because of the processing that's going on with my blonde hair i like to still put a little bit more of moisture a little bit of oil but very very little bit that's why i like the sprays the most because the sprays really allow you to control how much oils you're putting in your hair versus if you are like just putting drops of oil on your hand and putting it through your hair it doesn't really get evenly distributed and you're like making one part of your hair greasy and the other part is like dull so that's why I really like this Moroccan oil spray. So what I do is about, you know, a few inches away, I spray everywhere. 
and then I comb it I comb it through just to distribute it nice and evenly look at this bang guys look do you like that look it's beautiful right I like it so this is the end result of my roller set and blow dry you guys and I hope that you guys enjoyed it now um, if you guys have any questions or comments regarding how I my blow dry styling you can leave me a comment below as well as share with me how you blow dry your hair or share with me what products you use to blow dry your hair I would love to know so I can try new things as well as well as teaching you guys um, how I do things and you know I would love to hear from you on all my social media platforms that's Instagram Twitter here on YouTube and Facebook as well I'm also on snapchat but I don't snap at all I just really like watch other people but I don't snapchat I don't really know how <laughs> but anyhow Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe so that way you can get all my new videos right directly into your inbox. Please leave me your comments below. Share this video with your friends as well. If you have friends that you know that want to know how to, you know, do the things that I share with you guys, share the videos with them. Let them learn something as well. And, you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Kisses.